Hey everybody, I am back with another planner video for you guys today and honestly, I simply just want to share what my July and August planning has looked like. So go back and watch several videos about uh, my kind of my updated setup for the summer. I have different videos describing why I'm planning like this and when I'm going to switch back and things like that. So uh, if you need information on that, definitely check those out. Oops, I just realized it has this little bookmark dart. I need to move that. So this is my notebook from designsbyplannerperfect.com. What I love about the notebooks is how much space I have because they're completely blank. I decide how many pages to use and you are going to see how in July, actually this was technically June 29th, but the first week of July, this is all the space I used. I just wrote a label for the day. I wrote as many notes, tasks, anything as I needed. And if I had space, I just picked up where I left off. So some days I used it for much more. Some days it was only memory keeping. Some days I skipped altogether. So I went from Friday to Sunday. So using a blank notebook like this is a great way to do that. So here we are Sunday to Monday. I like to use different washi tape on the edges, usually on the edges, occasionally on the top. Um, and if you see a similar washi running through, that's gonna designate a complete week. So that is one way that I organize my brain for using a planner like this and keep track of what day we're on. Because honestly, not only is this life as we know it right now, where I just feel like everything is kind of confusing and no day feels like a typical day, since so many things are still shut down, um, but also in the summer, and especially the way my life is in July and August right now, it's even more confusing about what day it is, what week it is, where I am in life. So having one simple little thing like the same washi throughout the week really helps ground me into what the day is. So I really love, um, I kind of make my lists as I go or as I need them. I am a huge back planner. Um, what that looks like for me is I maybe will have a very productive day, but it won't be until that evening or the next day that I'll actually go back in and write down all of the things that I did. I just really like to do that. That's one of the ways that I journal that actually counts to me as a form of journaling. Um, but it also helps me feel even more productive and spurs me on to be motivated to do other things on other days as well. Um, and I just, no matter how hard, how hard I try, how realistic my to-do lists are, even if I just do one thing on my to-do list, again, like way so realistic and I make every effort to accomplish it. If I write it down ahead of time, I'm like, mm, tomorrow's going to be laundry day. Uh, 10 things that you could never have expected get in the way of that and we never end up, I never end up doing laundry. So I am so much better about partway through a task, like if I've already got laundry started, writing it down and knowing I'll finish that load by the end of the day usually, or like I said, I record keep and I put it in at the end. And then the other thing I like to do is just fill up space with stickers, um, sticky notes, Anything that I want, um, a lot of times I really like to fill in space. So like this is pretty unusual. I must have been feeling really just like tired and unmotivated when this day was over to come back and fill it in. Uh, maybe I didn't have the washi with me or nearby or my stickers and I was just like, whatever, and I went on. One thing I've really been putting back in here um, that I have needed so much are my menus. So that way I know what meals I have on hand during the week. So I have done entire videos on my style of menu planning, how I do plan out by the day, but I also, if I'm feeling like on Monday I want tacos, we're gonna have tacos. It doesn't really matter. There's a few exceptions to that. Um, so definitely check out my two videos, one where I describe my dinners and one where I describe my breakfasts, breakfasts and lunches. Wow, that was hard. <laughs> so here is another week. 
This was a fun one. I used a lot of color. I definitely only like this type of color scheme in the summer. I don't know why. I'm very seasonal, I guess, when it comes to color. So just fun Thursday, Friday. What I've done here is as I was getting towards the end of July coming into August, I was feeling the pressure of actually having some stuff to plan, different trips we were going on. We've been doing flooring projects. We've had family in town. And I really wanted to be able to make sure the, the few things I need to plan for, for times like that, like what meals we're having or what to pack, that I was thinking about them on the correct days. So I did go ahead and start pre-washing and doing one day per page. So right here at the end of July is about when I started that. And you can see another week, another menu. Um, this was interesting. We had no schedule this week. Well, I, I basically made a week on one page. So even though this looks like a menu planner, this is what we did on that day. And then if I needed some notes, all I did was make a this week kind of running to-do list and a packing list. And that was all I did for that week. And it was really nice to kind of save space, but have all the important things. I needed meals. I needed um, to track what I might need to do to prepare for packing. And then on each day, like who was coming in, um, who was leaving, we went and had a picnic at the park. Um, had some people over, my in-laws over for dinner, that kind of thing. And then this was, is this this week? No, this was last week. What day are we on? So this week I did the menu planning again. And typically I wouldn't put washi like this in between the meals, but the way I spaced the menu, I squeezed it too close together. I'm not sure what happened and I couldn't like distinguish between the different days. So this, I do not like as a pretty thing, it is totally a functional thing to have the washi in between and I absolutely needed it or I could not see which words belong to which days. So I kind of copied my methods from before. So here was a notes page, but then here's Monday, Tuesday. Now this was kind of fun. We were on vacation several of these days and I've kind of mentioned this a lot and maybe I need to dedicate a whole video to this, but when I journal, I don't do a lot of full sentences. I don't know why. My brain wants bullet points. That's all it wants. And even when I go back and read my journals from years and years and years ago, bullet points or short sentences really work for me. So I used my Plan With Anna stickers. They're timed hourlies that starts at seven, it goes till nine. And I would just jot down what we were doing at that time. So this allowed me to like, we needed to pack and clean and leave for our vacation last Monday. And I, so I wrote down something that actually needed to happen, but then I was like journaling in between. And I love how it looks. I love a busy looking planner. It makes so much sense to me. So I just continued that on throughout the week. I had a lot of blank spots because when we got home, I was sick, but whatever. Um, wrote a bunch of stuff. And then I had a notes section and I'm actually still referring to this this week because it's for our travel plans. Um, some we've already had this week and some are coming up. And then here is this week officially. So I made a menu. Um, instead of putting breakfasts and dinners on my days of the week, I needed to plan a little bit differently for a few days because we're not going to be here. Anyways, it all makes sense to me. And I just, again, I love the freedom and flexibility. I made a little list for some breakfast ideas. I have dinners on the days I need them and I have a list for something I need to take somewhere else. And then I have a notes page. I haven't needed to fill it yet, but it's only Tuesday. And then yesterday was my day, kind of my overnight all alone. So now we're in Tuesday and I will probably fill this in. I will probably journal a little bit in my own style and just do those kinds of things to fill in the pages. And then I still have the rest of the day. So I, you know, I'll fill this in with what I need. And then as the week goes on, I have not really filled in anything else. Although I do need to, because we have plans and I do need to make a few lists. And I am I might need to make another packing list here. I like to make packing lists 
to help me remember what to bring back as well. Because sometimes when you go on a trip, you like I'll have to remember to bring snacks, but I don't have to bring snacks back. But sometimes there are things I get if we go shopping or souvenirs or I don't know. And so it's just a way for me to check um, or like this. I usually don't need to write down to bring my phone charger as a packing list to go somewhere, but it's real easy to forget my phone charger wherever we are. So I actually use that, usually write that on my like returning list. So just little things like that. And then I still have plenty of blank space. This is going to meet my needs and I'm gonna have more than enough pages to finish out the month of August. And I will have July and August in one book, all my memories, all my schedule, and it'll be a lot of fun. So. That is what I have been doing. I hope this little flip through was fun to see functionally what I did and also see some of my finished spreads and the different washies and decorations and stuff. It really is fun to do pretty things in your planner. I really like it. So if you don't do that yet, I highly recommend you find a way to add some pretty in a way that appeals to you. And let me know in the comments what, what you like to do that's pretty in your planner or what you're going to start doing that's pretty in your planner. Okay, guys, that's it for now. I will see you in my next video. Bye.